are the Shireland High School cheerleaders. And you're watching the huddle on Fox 2. Go! 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 Thanks to the Sherryland cheerleaders for bringing us back from the break. All right, time to get to our most popular segment, the picks segment. How will your team do against their team? Well, let's run them down, gentlemen, and take a look and see what's coming up in the upcoming week. McKellar Memorial tries to bounce back after their loss at PSJ North, but they go to an impressive Westlaco East team at Bobby Lackey Stadium. Coach, where do you go? You know, you know, McKellar Memorial, they have to win to stay in the playoffs. You know, it's that simple. Westlaco East moved up from 4A, and they've been tough, and they have something to prove. I'm going with Westlaco East in this one. I was very impressed watching Westlaco East do what they did at Westlaco High. I'll pick the Wildcats. Doc? Two physical teams. The game will be won and lost at the line of scrimmage. I don't see East losing right now, but like you said, Zine, Memorial needs a win. Desperation time calls for desperate measures. Wessico High comes to McAllen to take on the Bulldogs. Two teams that are on the verge. One loss could knock them out. Yeah, you know, Wessico, they got to win and stay in. They, it's that simple, right? Matt Kai, they're in the top with Wessico East. You know, both teams are tough, aggressive. I'm, I'm going to go with my, Matt Kai and their finesse. That's what I'm going to go with. I like Matt Kai being on top of the district right now. Wessico trying to stay alive. Westville's got the toughest schedule left. McCallum's got what you'd say was the easiest, all three games at home. Uh, they can solidify their chances to win that district, and I believe that they do. All right, so we're all going back high. PSA North takes on PSA Memorial at PSA Stadium. I like the Raiders in this game. Yeah, you know, the Raiders, they, they've shown some stuff. You know, they play good almost every week. You know, sometimes they struggle. PSA Memorial's been on and off. You know, they started off pretty good in the beginning. You know, but the Raiders, I, I think they want part of that title. So I think uh, the Raiders will win this one. All right, two for the Raiders, Doc. I think it's all about ball control here because you don't want Borrego and Manny Mancias to have the chance to run wild. So you keep the ball away from them. PSJ North heretofore has shown that they can do that. I believe the Raiders also get a win. All right, so we're all in agreement with the Raiders. Los Fresnos and Brownsville Vets, Vets a great matchup in 32-5A. I like Los Fresnos in this matchup. Well, it's hard not to because they're doing everything right. It's a very explosive team. I think Brownsville Vets showed a lot by hanging right with Harlington. They definitely want to improve their passing game from last week. I don't see them beating Los Fresnos, but I still think it's a good playoff ball club. He, I'm he leaves go me. I wasn't finished. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with the upset here. You know, Brownsville Veterans has that quarterback, Marco Munoz. You know, he's yeah. a tough kid. You know, mm -hmm. he, he's tough. You know, Los Fresnos, you know, they struggle. They haven't struggled, right? They, they've been doing pretty good. But I just think that Brownsville Vets is going to put a – you know, put it on to Los Fresnos this week. Maybe they're due for a down game. Los Fresnos has played really well, and you always worry about 17-year-old kids that are going to have that down game. Yeah, that's it might true. be this that's one. True. Coming off a big win off of Brownsville Pace. Maybe mm -hmm. this is the one that gets some, get some uh, bit. Mission and Mission Vets going head-to-head. -head. Oh, Mission yeah. Eagles trying to go undefeated. <laughs> Mission Vets, they're yeah. trying to stay alive. Coach, where you, do you, you know, go? You know, Mission, it's probably the best team right now in 4A. You know, they're tough. They're tough. They have a very strong defense. They're very aggressive. You know, Mission Vets, I saw them against Ed Couch, and they struggled. You know, I know they beat uh, Roma this week, but I'm, I'm going with the Eagles. They're flying high. So. You're going with the Eagles, mm -hmm. Doc? Hard to pick against an unbeaten team. I know Vision, a Mission vet saved its season with a big comeback against Roma. I'd say uh, I'd say Mission wins the game. I'm going Patriots at home. Hey, That's oh, wow. That's right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'd get it. Oh, 10 yeah. touchdowns. Maybe yeah. you'll have 11. We'll see. Mercedes, Ed Cow, Chelsea. This is another big matchup. mid battle yeah. matchup right yeah. there. You know, this has been a rivalry for almost 50, 60 years. I mean, the Tigers against the Jackets. And, you know, it's always tough. I mean, people. Or people are fired up for this game. You know, this week, uh, past, you know, Mercedes struggle, Ed Couch also struggle, and I think they're looking ahead to this game. And, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's going to be a toss up, but I'm, I'm going with the Yellow Jackets. All right, you're taking yeah. the Machina. Who are you taking? I like Mercedes in this one. I like, uh, I like the way Michael Diva is getting his team fired up, and I think that they're hitting uh, all cylinders right now. Mercedes got a great ground game, they can pound the ball with Guzman. Ed Couch, you know, they, you can't tell about that team because there's so many kids in and out of the lineup, different quarterbacks. I think they're turning on at the right time. That's going to be an amazing game. Okay, next. <laughs> you got a pick. <laughs> you got a pick. <laughs> you win it. Okay, well, let's see. Can't pick against La Machina in La Casa. There you go. Wow. The black hole. That's All right. right. I'm yeah. taking Spanish. Mercedes. I like mm -hmm. Isaiah Garza. I like what he's done. Mm -hmm. And, that, you know, that ground game is impressive. But when he needs mm -hmm. to air it out, we saw this past week, mm -hmm. what he did with Valley View, that he's Quintanilla, capable of Quintanilla, that big catch on fourth and ten, saved oh. the game. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we'll see mm -hmm. how it goes. Hidalgo is at Port Isabel Ooh. taking on the Tarpons. The Tarpons coming off a big game. Hidalgo had an impressive first half. Mm -hmm. They did. Couldn't mm -hmm. finish out that third and fourth quarter. They, uh, you know, just PI is too strong, right? I think PI right now is probably the strongest sub 4A school out there. Uh, I'm going to have to go with PI, even though you know Patterson's there with Iago, but you know PI they're they're the the tradition. 
You know, go with the tarpons. Early on, we talked to Coach Ford, and he said that uh, this is going to be a build in progress. He just wants to put some W's up before he starts thinking about playoffs. I think Port Isabel's got their number this year, but don't count Hidalgo out. Well, the thing is, you know, they could have won that game against Rio Hondo. I felt like I think they felt like they could have won. Against P.I., it's going to be very difficult on the road. They're running the ball, 450 rushing yards. It's like old school P.I., man. I don't think they can do it. But if they do, I'll be the first one to say thumbs up. In taps action, St. Michael's comes down to take on the St. Joe's Bloodhounds. I know that you're passionate about this one. The Bloodhounds can get to 500. They played Antonian last week, gave up 66 points. That's one of the best teams in the state. I expect those guys, they've got some good players down there, some weapons. Adrian Gutierrez, or Adrian Guerra. Uh, Dan Gutierrez, Dan Matar, they got a lot of good players. And Brandon Olvera, the running back, is going to go over 1,000 yards. So I feel like St. Joe gets the win. I think St. Joe's going to pick up the wins on this one. You know, when you have to travel six hours to play a game, it takes a toll Sapsing. on you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, yeah. the Bloodhounds will win this one. Yeah. All right, there you go. Those are our picks. You can recap them always at 956sports.com. And make sure you log on. Become our friend on Facebook, facebook.com slash 956sports. Be on the lookout for us. Send us your feedback. If you didn't like Selber's picks or you don't like his <laughs> Or you don't like me in general. <laughs> Send that hate mail right there at the Facebook site, and we'll Facebook. take care of it. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks to our friends at Fox 2 and, of course, McDonald's for serving up another edition of The Huddle, brought to you by 956 Sports. And you know what I can't Let's forget? Let's get him, man. Yeah, we okay. can't Come forget. on, man. Thanks Come on, Tony. Mike Gonzalez in the Mid-Valley Oh, that's County. right. All right. Yeah, good job, Mike. And being a part of the experience. Yeah. We'll see you next week here on Fox 2. Now, who's going to get me? Oh, we go. Oh, hey, who's going to get me? Let's see. What are we doing? Yeah, you're some quarterback right here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>